A new effort to reform the criminal justice system is sparking some debate tonight. The state Senate considering two bills that would change the protocol surrounding parole eligibility and release. Kayla Green explains why some are finding it so controversial. Today, Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley is urging state representatives to vote against the Elder Parole Act and Fair and Timely Parole Act. One state representative I talked to today says he supports it. According to the bill on the New York State Senate website, the Elder Parole Act would allow people 55 and older who have served at least 15 years of a sentence to be considered for release on parole. The Fair and Timely Parole Act allows the Board of Parole to release incarcerated people who are eligible unless they present a current and unreasonable risk that can't be prevented by parole supervision. Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley says she's concerned about both. You're going to have the most violent offenders in our community being released um, after serving just, you know, a portion of their sentence. State Senator Jeremy Cooney says this isn't a get out of jail free card. It's a chance for incarcerated people to have a chance. Individuals who may have done a wrong in the past can sometimes, in some instances, change. And the criminal justice system is not about locking up people and throwing away the key. It's about finding improvement and opportunities for them to better themselves. She also says nobody is thinking about victims in all of this. They had some sense of relief that the perpetrator would be in prison for 25 to life, and that's not going to be the case. Gates Police Chief James Van Brederode says he believes this legislation would harm the community. Predicting future behavior from people is, is not a perfect science, and uh, I, I think this would create a lot of anxiety and stress for these victims. Both bills are currently in the Senate committee. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. Right,